Exotic Todd Tweets, and the spiciest host in town. I'm Marissa Roberto, and that's Brody Lee Fex Moore. That is me, and this is how the show is going to work. Producer Tyler's got two minutes on the board for each topic, and we will present and possibly argue. Luckily for all of us, there's a mute button only to be used when one of us gets out of line. Mm-hmm. Shout out to chat, because we like it when you call us out when we're wrong I and don't. praise us when we're spitting truths. So let's get right to it and start off with our top stories uh, with some Super Smash Bros. Melee debates. Ready? In the Melee community, wobbling is a controversial subject. The move which lets an Ice Climber player grab and infinitely damage an opponent has been banned in several recent tournaments, such as last weekend's Battle of BC3. Supporters of the ban say that wobbling turns spectators off from Melee by making the game too slow. But others say that wobbling is simply just a technique one can use to win the game, regardless of how fast or slow it is. So, Brody, where do you stand on wobbling? How is this still a topic? People are complaining because they suck at the game. Uh -oh. Don't get wobbled. Uh -oh. Like that's straight up it. Don't get wobbled. Play, uh -oh. play Jigglypuff and you can fly away and play super defensively. Uh -huh. Everyone I mean, will hate you too, but yeah, yeah. no, in all honesty, here's the game. One of the most beautiful things about Melee is that it doesn't get patched yeah. and there aren't changes to it. And then a meta develops around people having to discover new things. Mm. Wobbling was one of those things that got discovered, and people learned how to deal with it. I mean, playing Ice Climbers is pretty difficult. You know, playing, yeah. like, there aren't many good, like, Sopos out there, and learning how to desync, how to get the wobble in the first place can be difficult. Mm. That's why you don't see a lot of Ices in top play. Okay, people thought, are just annoyed because they don't know how to deal with it. Learn how to deal with it. Okay. I thought that you don't get ICs because people in the audience usually will troll you and boo you if you use them in any way. Here's, here's, the, here's the other thing, is the Melee audience are super fickle beans. Like, they, mm. they, they got spoiled, okay? Spoiled. They, they had this magnificent run of Mango with a, an absolutely aggressive and stylistic creative approach, right? Uh -huh. There was no formula to what he did, mm. but clearly, that doesn't work anymore. Uh, We'd see him at the top, yeah. right? People are, now that the, the eSport grew up to a larger audience, uh -huh. people found more efficient ways to play. I agree. Like in uh, Call of Duty, I hate when you knife me in gun game. Not cool, bro. But at the same time, if it was a tournament, I couldn't get mad at you because it is the most efficient way to play the game. So and that's what's happening in Melee. Should we be praising those who use ice climbers? I wouldn't say praise them, but I would say shut the heck up if you're telling them to stop wobble. It's part of the character. So just deal with it. I mean, okay. like, what are we going to eventually they're, start they're saying? Ban Jigglypuff? Are we going to start saying ban Marth, ban Fox, because they're the best player? But, like, but are those people playing, using those characters the villains in these tournaments? No. There's dollar bills on the line, bro. But nobody likes watching them. Then go watch another eSport. That's uh -oh. what I got to say to that. Mm -hmm. Anyways, that's not the only Melee topic we're going to be talking about today. Mm -hmm. At Battle of BC3, Melee player Fohibro quit a match because his opponent Chango was playing to Jigglypuff's strengths. Chango played a defensive game, running away from Fohibro once he went up a stock. So what did uh, Fohibro respond oh, with? What? He simply put down his controller and both players sat still for minutes while the audience and casters booed. Eventually, mm -hmm. Fohibro unplugged his controller and walked off the stage. Marissa, Yo. your turn for opinions. Yo, that is serious drums right there, like straight up. I mean, part of me feels like, okay, he was kind of just being a sore loser because he was clearly losing and he didn't want to deal with it anymore. Mm -hmm. um, he was reached out to for comment afterwards, and I think he said something along the lines of, if he's not going to play, then I'm not going to either. Um, basically throwing shade at the character selection. So um, the fact that he couldn't play against it, I mean, I don't know, man. Like, I feel like you have to be able to play against every single player if you're coming up to bat. If you're in top eight, yo, that was top eight. Mm -hmm. That was straight up top eight. Mm -hmm. So you've got to come and dance. You've got to come to the party and play. You can't just stop playing. That does. That is worth booze, in my opinion. This is this is another example of someone not being able to figure out a solution and getting mad at someone else for yeah. your own incompetency. Yeah. Like you don't know how to play against that character. We've known for years because that's how Hungry Locks plays. That the character is going to play more defensively. They will make you make the moves. You have to learn to play around that. Amarta did it. If you See, want to be the best, you got you to be able to play with it. Is this like a testament to the immaturity maybe in the Melee community? Oh, absolutely. I, okay. I think that's for sure. It, it's, it's the, as I said before, it's the fickleness. Like they, mm -hmm. they, they want this uh, eSport to grow and yeah. to reach more people and more people playing it. 
but they don't realize that that also means that new strategies will develop yeah. and efficiency and metagame will develop that they may not like. And they're yeah. like, oh, well, and you know, actually, uh, I want my aggressive, fast gameplay back. Mm -hmm. It's still fast. Like, yeah. Melee is still really fast compared I mean, to almost any other esport. I mean, it's also kind of a reflection on the fact that the melee community does not seem to like change in any way. They yeah. don't really move it's on. It's just with FGC any, in it, general. <laughs> maybe, maybe it is the FGC, but like some players, they have actually tried Ultimate and they still try to compete in those tournaments too because they're showing that they can adapt and they can change and they mm -hmm. can try to compete. But there's something about the fact that they can't let go of melee that maybe means something. Like I get, I understand the love for it for sure. You're right. It is the best one out there. I'm not arguing that point, but there is something to be said about players that can't change. <laughs> So I, I love Melee too. I'm a, I'm a su super Melee fan. Yeah. Like the only other game I love as much as Rocket League is Melee. And you know how much I love Rocket League. There's your reference for the day. Christ, let's move on <laughs> to some Battle Royale, Brody's other favorite esports genre. <laughs> Treyarch announced that Black Ops 4's Battle Royale mode Blackout will be free to play for all of April. Players on PC, PS4, and Xbox One can download the mode independently of the full game on its respective storefronts. The announcement came just after Blackout's second map, Alcatraz, was revealed, which PS4 players can play right now. So, Brody, uh, most of the Battle Royale talk has been focused on Apex and Fortnite. Do you think going free-to-play can actually bring Blackout into maybe that discussion? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> like, what the? Blackout's dead, dude. I mean, like, what? Apex came out. Um. Therefore, think about this. Titanfall was supposed to be the COD killer. Mm -hmm. The issue is they released it at the exact same time as like Battlefront and, and Battlefield 1 and that. Yeah, like, no, 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 no. Like oh, you're talking about other, other games. Okay. S silly, silly decision. That's the reason it didn't take off. Now, Apex, using a lot of the same mechanics, showing that it's better than Call of Duty in almost every single way, um, is blowing up. It's like, why yeah. would we go back to Call Like, the Call of Duty one was good, Yeah, but, but Apex is way better. Okay, but there's still a chance for Blackout to shine, I think, because there's still a huge community of Call of Duty players, people that love and live and die for COD. Why can't they try to make this something? Why do we have to abandon one game completely because one other game is out there and it looks maybe shinier and a little bit better in different ways? Like, there are different communities for each game. Why can't we maybe you know try I, to nurture and grow this one? I actually, I actually, because there are a very limited amount of people interested in BRs right now. You can't, if you spread them That's too far, true. they're all going to die. That is not accurate at all. There are so many people interested in BRs, tons of people playing them, tons of people watching them. There, there are a lot of people interested in Fortnite. Then there's the rest of the BR people that are now spread thin across the rest of the BRs. Okay. But, you know, I, I thought before, I'm like, why isn't Call of Duty on... Like, they, they should switch their esports over to PC, right? Because it's just yeah. PC Master Race. It's way better. But now I'm thinking, you know what? Maybe this is the BR besides Fortnite for consoles. Maybe if they focus now, just you know, keep it console. Start running tournaments console only. Stay away from PC, because obviously you know, that's overrun now by your PUBGs and Apexes. No. Find your market that's open and use that. But if they try to delve into PC, though, and any kind of tournaments for but uh, Blackout, But PC is where the money tournaments are, though. <laughs> PC is where the skill is. PC is where, the, where all the money goes. Like, they have to still try PC. Why wouldn't they? Mm. The call, the call well, pros right die. now. No, no, no there's still, there's still an opportunity for PC players over. to shine. Our last story of the day. One April Fool's joke has made XQC pretty unhappy. He has a lot of things to do. In Overwatch, <laughs> any player who played as Reinhardt on April 1st would have their text messages replaced by all caps quotes like precision German engineering. XQC <laughs> did not find this joke funny as he raged at his inability to type correctly and eventually slammed his desk in anger as oh, XQC does. Poor boo -boo -bee. Um, He's so mad. Now, it, it does kind of bring up an interesting question. I have an opinion on this, but I'll let you oh, go really? first. Oh, really? Let's hear it, buddy. Um, but do, do, you, do you think it's okay for the devs to be doing it? Like, in a team game, you're limiting communications now Are you serious? Players. You can still talk on the mic. You know that, right? Yeah, but what if you don't have a mic? What if you're poor? XQC is not poor. No, but I'm, I'm giving fine. a hypothetical here. Obviously, he's not poor, but like, and he could have used a mic. Actually, if I'm on his team, I don't want his mic turned on anyways. Actually, I oh would just my God. delete the game. It's, you but. know what, you guys? It's one freaking day. It's April Fool's. Nobody likes April Fool's at all, ever. I hate going on Twitter. April I Fool's hate... is amazing. Are you no. dumb? Okay, whatever. You like April Fool's. So many people hate April Fool's. It's so dumb. That's because, because they're dumb. Okay, maybe XQC Dummies. is dumb then, not enjoying an April Fool's joke. Not maybe. Okay. Oh, oh, I see. You have a different. You have an opinion of XQC, do you? Well, I think we all have a very specific no, opinion of XQC. No, let's hear it because I feel like I'm the only one shitting on him. Oh, oh. I didn't mean to swear. <laughs> uh, but no, he. Uh, well, he is dumb. But I, I, I don't know. I think I think there is a valid thing of like if if this was in ranked, 
I have to look at it. If this was in ranked, that's a problem. Because now that's people putting in a lot of work, and all of a sudden you're just going to take away the ability for them to potentially communicate. They what can if, still communicate. What they can if, still communicate. What if there's construction going on outside, and all of a sudden there's just chainsaws? <laughs> you want to hear that? Are you want you my serious? mic on? Yeah, it's not, that's not the only mode of communication. They can still communicate. The outcast, they cannot. Outcast will, Tiny. Yes, they can. No, it's changing all their text messages. No, it's, that you still get text coming through, Brody. No. That's just an additional message that comes. No, I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. Either way, it's going to clog. Even if that is it, it's going to clog up the entire communication. What if I'm, I'm in a sick battle right now, just popping heads, pop, 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 and I don't see that my support's like, I'm not here right now because it was filled up with a bunch of other junk messages. Filled up? Seriously? There can't? No. It There's wasn't. only a limited amount of... There's Space. only a limited of Reinhardts to play. You can't, not all characters are Reinhardts. It's yeah, just the one freaking so character. Long. As XQC probably does, as he's yeah. raging at all his people. Seriously, it's one freaking day. Calm your tits. I feel like he's playing a character. Honestly, quite honestly, I feel like he's playing a character. He needs to be clipped and he needs to be watched, and this is how you get watched on Twitch. You're right, sometimes. that is how he so, makes money. Either way, so, you're dumb. Now okay. it's time to see what the other streamers are up to in Clip It. Our first clip comes from Raj Patel, who is making a case for poor streamers. It is a dream of mine, and I don't own a Lamborghini for the luck. Kirk, tell him I don't own a Lamborghini. What, are you talking about the Lamborghini? No, no, I don't. Oh. Oh, no, but what you don't own? No, he doesn't own a Lamborghini. Oh, God. Tell him I own a Camry, would you? Tell him I own a Camry. Uh, you own a Lamborghini, a Camry. Oh, God. I a Camry. I don't own a Lamborghini. You guys don't understand. This is what I don't get, okay? I'm a Twitch streamer, all right? I'm not a millionaire. We, we don't make a lot of money, all right? We, we don't make a lot of money. $300 donation from Licky Smiley Face. <laughs> that was, bro. I mean, you're not fooling anyone. I meant to do that. When you're getting, when you're getting like 20K <laughs> views consistently, like you, you're making a good amount. People could do Are the you? math yourself. Are you really? I'm not gonna do the math on camera because that usually never works out well, but like. Okay, well, five, $5 times 350K. I well, know. that's his follower. His, Somebody his tell me in chat what that is. Yeah, no, no, it'd be 20, 20, even if even if all those were subs. Usually it's more. Even at 20k. Oh, those are just followers. 20k so times 5 is 100. Split that. That's 50k in a month. Even okay. if he's at making 50, but usually that's he's making 70%. Really that's what I'm saying. That's so really he good. does own a Camborghini. Plus, plus his donations. <laughs> Three dollar Camber, donation. Camborghini. <laughs> I, I mean, listen, and maybe he wants one one day and he's just building up to it. This is just a setup for this litty Instagram post. I'm sure he's about to drop soon. But uh, I don't know. I don't feel bad for him at all. Or he's in a lot of debt to the mafia and he oh, just doesn't want to say that he's got to pay it by off. By mafia, he means government. The government. Forgot my taxes the last 10 years. Uh, yeah, all right. Moving on for getting more trouble. Next X League <laughs> pro turn streamer. I'm a cutie pie. Got a special, special message from Riot while streaming. Please rate your agreement. Watch them ADC streamers shouldn't play support on stream. Disagree. I think they're trying to tell me something, but my damage Dell's telling me something else. That's actually hilarious. This is why I love April Fools. Yeah, because Riot sent this to him as an April Fools joke, but I mean, should more publishers be pranking players like this? Heck yes, brother. Straight up, like that's <laughs> that's so brother. fun because it just create it creates a, a sick moment, you know. On so like even that, like now it's clipped, yeah. now it's shared. It's, exactly. Yeah, as long as it's not you know like taking away communication abilities mm. in a ranked match. Like yeah. we okay, <laughs> that's not you're, that's not what actually happened. You know what? No, no, that 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 is a, that is great though. I I think that's fantastic. Most games um, end up having like a. Um, some sort of thing. I actually have one later in Crack Controlled. But oh, yeah? The, yeah, but, uh, um, you know, Rocket League had one too. It had uh, S Watercolors. Um, we had it yesterday on the show. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, oh, but yeah, that was, that, yeah that's super sick. We didn't watch. That I, was I know, a full I did. BS. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you did. He didn't watch. I'm busy being important. <laughs> <laughs> okay, as long as you tell yourself that in the mirror every morning. I, <laughs> I know. Okay, listen, it's time now for the best time of day when we scroll through the Twitters to entertain ourselves with the things, the pros, and well, sometimes average Joes have been saying, sometimes they spark debate within the community, and sometimes personalities use these debates to get attention. Person. Like well-known attention seeker, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Thorin, who was quoted by Slasher for quoting a Monte Cristo hot take that started this whole debate when he tweeted, the next esports interviewer to open with the question, how are you feeling, gets slapped. Cage, first of all, friggin' chill. Also, 
I'm irritated at that, number Preach. one. Number two, Thorin pads Monty's hot take with his own, saying, nuance behind this is a lot of post-game interviewers in esports are women. They often seem too curious, first of all, wrong too, uh, curious about the emotional impact of a result and likely seek to display empathy toward the player by gauging his state. Many men just want to know what they think. You know she doesn't actually have a valid uh, argument on this when Excuse she's starting me? to pick out grammar. That's, what are you talking that's, about? That's, no. that's, ugh. No, no, I'm just, saying, I'm just saying for someone who like has, a, he's professor, okay? Mm -hmm. full-on professor, like tell me more about these nuances. If he's going to be professor, maybe he should check his grammar before he tweets. Okay, you're right. I, okay. I, I do like good grammar, but at the same time... No, like he's, he's playing oh, professor. He's, no, right. seriously, he's playing professor. <laughs> you're going to need this closer to you. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you want to say? Uh, I, no, Don't here's the thing. Off. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, I think Thorne actually makes a lot of good points. He doesn't do it in the best way. Mm. He's definitely a little bit toxic about it sometimes. But oftentimes, he's very right about a lot of the things that he says. Okay? In this case, I think absolutely it's stupid that um, people are always asking, how are you feeling? Right? Like, I, like come oh up God. with something better. Okay, that's you've so, got literally zero points. That's so made, safe. So I'm just going to mute him right now because he's not even saying words that are relevant. Listen, uh, I don't really think that um, Thorin making this point really was a point at all. He just wanted to come in and say something good. Monte, Monte Cristo was getting a lot of play off of this. So Thorin's like, I'm gonna get some play off this too. And I'm gonna say something about women. Cause usually people like to respond to me after I say something. And the thing is like the way he said it, it wasn't like he was attacking women cause the way he was phrasing it, you're right. Like he could have phrased it a little better, but he said that women tend to ask, how are you feeling? Cause we're more empathetic, which you know, might be a valid point. Maybe we are more empathetic because we do share those feelings. That's where but we're I, getting. But I feel like the whole thinking and feeling question, like, I don't think that plays to Monte Cristo's point because he was making it seem like, listen, this is just a lazy line of questioning. Like, you should come at it with yes, something more. There are two things. One, it's a lazy line of questioning. Where I was going with that uh -huh. was that, yeah, I think it'd be very silly to realize there aren't differences between the genders, right? Yeah. But it doesn't mean that's something wrong with it. And that's, you're right. I, I'm glad that you said that Thorin actually had had a, a good point here because I that I could just be the difference I didn't in think what a good point. men and women want to hear. But there's nothing wrong with that. They I'm both just, bring their own values. But I'm just saying, like, he, this is just him wanting attention at the end of the day. Like, he's Oh, yeah, coming, probably. Like, I'll there, agree there with was, you on that yeah, one. Yeah, he was not adding anything to this. He just wanted attention. Look, we gave it to you. You're welcome. Wow, Let's somehow we more, ended up agreeing at the end of this one. Continue. All right, move on. Since we ventured into the great abyss of tweets that don't matter, Thorin <laughs> tweeted shade at CSGO Pro Zeus, saying he was a competent individual who puts in practice hours, yada, 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 then says it was just an April Fool's joke. So Zeus responds with, Hi, everyone. Just wanted to say that Thorin is a great person and a competent analyst. <laughs> Almost every pro player thinks he is a nice fellow <laughs> and understands yes quite well. <laughs> ah, I, could, I could never really... Uh, be good at April Fool's jokes. <laughs> you got to bleep me out too. I know we got we got two bleeps today. Uh, listen, I think that's funny. I think that he, listen, he got a lot of likes on that, like an alarming amount of likes. Um, and they just have a back and forth. Li obviously, Thorne has rubbed a lot of people the wrong way mm -hmm. in the industry, not just analysts, players too, because of just tweets like the one he had, where he like he didn't actually need to call it Zeus either. Like he he started it. He started all of this. Like he just he needs the basically. Bottom line is this guy needs attention. We're giving it to but him. It's You're working. welcome. It's yeah, working. it's working. You're welcome. You Again, you at the end of the day, he creates enemies because he's not good at bringing his points up. Yeah. But he brings think, up points. That I think are good we need to a discuss. count on the show for how many times we say at the end of the day, because that was like four times already. The the and I think I want to cancel that whole phrase. At the end, at of, the the day? end of the day. How many people say that? <laughs> so many people the say it. Producers start muting us. Anytime we say at the end of the day, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> auto mute. Uh, okay, moving on here before we get to the end of the day. But this is the best April Fool's joke of all, because it comes from, well, shared DM slides via uh -oh. cosplayer <laughs> Jessica Negri uh -oh. with an April Fool's promise. She says, due to popular demand, I am so excited to announce that I will be adding a new top tier on my Patreon where I sent you your choice of booty gas in either a glass jar or a plastic baggie. Only $1,000 per hit of the good SHIT. <laughs> she responds to the tweet by saying, this is a joke, these DMs are not. Uh, some of those DMs uh, include things like, I wish you'd kiss my butthole like you kissed that dog, and you can sign a pair of panties. Oh, can you sign a pair of panties that will give me pink eye and send them? And um, a bunch of other fart requests. So Brody, uh, I need to know why you continue to send her DMs when I've asked you not to. 
I do like farts. <laughs> um, but, uh, I, I, I really think a lot of these were definitely jokes. They're, they're, like, no, Brody, who I'm actually you I, wants pink eye? Do you know how many stickies are out there? Have you any idea? Or maybe how you many just misunderstand comedy. <laughs> no, listen. There are guys out there that want that will actually pay for. First of all, dirty underwear. No, you that's are like right. a yeah. full-on thing. And I think he actually does want dirty underwear to give him pink eye, because that's I guess a thing too. <sighs> guys will pay for women to fart in their face. That's a thing. If you're not aware of this, well, you haven't really been on the internet. I mean, too everybody's long. got their fetishes. That's okay. That's I just don't think there's th th that many. I also feel like. Those were the tamest of the DMs that she gets. When you yeah. say Jesse and Igri, I'm like, uh -oh, uh -oh. we're getting yeah. in today. That's what I mean. Like they're not, those aren't jokes. Those that's real life for her. That's, that's a DM daily. At for the her. same time, I do like jokes. Or jokes about farts. <laughs> farts and jokes. Anyways, let's move on. I alluded to it earlier, but it's time for some crowd control where the content carries the rest of the segment because I'm too tired for any more opinions, <laughs> really. Starting us off, this post reminded me why I don't have pets or children. <laughs> Uh, quite perfectly, this was submitted by Careless Gamer, and I feel like you might be able to relate to this. Why? Because rip to all the Nintendogs that haven't been fed since 2007. Oh my god. I have, I had Nintendogs, and I have not turned it on since probably 2007. How, I'm just wondering, when, what was so the longest bad. you spent away from your Animal Crossing friends? Oh, well, Animal Crossing is totally different because they're self-sufficient. Like, they're just out there living They just lives. get super passive-aggressive when you come back like, oh, where yeah. were you for the last two <laughs> yeah. years? Yeah, yeah, completely. Like, I feel for these dogs. But I feel like they kind of are immortalized and now live forever in Smash Ultimate with one of the maps. So, like, they're still out there kicking. But are they getting fed? Either way, F in chat for all the doggos. Oh, I'm sorry. Listen, our next... It's all your fault. Me, our next rose reminds us that <laughs> Minecraft isn't going anywhere, especially with that modern Sonic Ether is doing in the game. This post is by King underscore KR. Shows us what a glimpse of Ray of tracing Minecraft. Okay. <laughs> yeah, rip PC. Also, I could do this if my PC was back. What, what's that's so here? beautiful. This, look this how look real, at these mods. Like yeah, that's like it looks photorealistic, dude. This looks like real life. Yeah, Minecraft is real life. I mean, it's no, better than real life. I that's not true. There are zombies and in I Minecraft. And I could have that mod if my PC was back in oh my house. Oh my God! You just use that post. Can we all feel really bad that I still don't have? No, nobody my feels RTX bad for 2080? you. You have like five subscribers on Twitch. Nobody. Feels wow! Bad for you. Actually inaccurate, but not far off. Really, and all of you. Uh, no, not sub dubs. Oh, I was gonna yeah. sub dubs. Yeah. <laughs> not sub dubs. <laughs> Anyways, last post. Now I know that April Fools is over, but of course I had to show you guys what Ubisoft got up to in one of their games for honor. I pulled a small clip from Zero Craig's video to show you. Oh god, the raw scream of the rabbits, dude. Why do they have human asses? I was about to say that thick. Why do they have human asses? The rabbits. <laughs> every every menu item, I love these crosses for every menu item. That would get so frustrating if you were playing for the whole day. Oh my god, how wonderful is that? It's true. Why do they have human asses? It doesn't make any sense. Because they're Wait. they're rabbits, the, the rabid rabbits. The rabid rabbits don't have but little bunny tails. Rabid rabbits. Have they never had bunny tails? This I whole don't time? think so. No, they're they the weirdest actual... looking rabbits, dude. <laughs> Can you imagine just coming to the game, a bunch of these little adorable hackers just come along? I guess they do have to get rid of the little bunny tail because that would make them cute and the rabbits aren't supposed to be cute. They're supposed to be rabbits? <laughs> They're supposed to be stupid AF and that's what they are. <laughs> All right, listen, good to have you back, Brody Moore. I oh, hey. The baby. I miss I'll leave you I in a day from now. <laughs> okay, fine. Let us know who you think won the battle today. Type one in chat for me and two in chat for Brody and let us know in Discord. Fine, well, hit the socials. Type. Exclamation point, so, so, right now.